Cloudy World. And today, man, we are talking about a very clear and very controversial story about Chris Tyson, man. So I've been kind of giving it about a day to speak on this because I wanted to get some more information. Plus, YouTube is not failing anything I post. Don't care. Let's get into the content since they want to hate on a youngin. So Chris Tyson is a weirdo, a certified CP weirdo, and we're going to break everything down, bro. So here are some more screenshots with the video proof to show you the type of disgusting behavior that Ava Chris Tyson is doing. And I want to really call out Mr. Beast and really speak on it because all these other YouTubers and content creators are so scared and so weird and so pathetic that you're going to call out something so disgusting because it's going on with the Rainbow Tribe. And that's real. But let's keep it a buck. If this is going on with anybody, we got to call out, bro. This isn't nothing against that community in any way shape or form bro one person doing it ain't the whole but we got to call out this person because they're making the whole look bad and let's call them out bro so here's some screenshots and some video evidence about that boy tyson continuing to reach out and still reach out to that youngin you know singing the c minor singing the c minor you feel me you don't want anything expensive for your birthday i could spoil you are you serious are you serious? It's fine. Look at my snap. Are you serious? And then we go to we go to Snapchat. We go to Snapchat. See what it is. Keep it a secret, though. Ben stepped on. I don't know if you've heard about this bathwater prank and how crazy it's going, but my stock is usually solid out at the moment. Rather than bringing it back, I'm usually looking for a bottle to video a giant tub and ship it to whoever buys it. I just want to reach out because I know this is kind of content. Mr. Beast does to give you a heads up. Let me know if something you might interest him. Thanks, right? Ben stepped on. Thanks, Pops. Bro, do you see these screenshots, dog? And I really want to call this out, bro, because I'm tired of the disgusting behavior, bro. And I'm really tired of this man, Mr. Beast, trying to think he ain't going to speak on it. I'm sorry. Like, it wasn't a month ago where this situation with Dr. Disrespect just went on. I don't defend none of these weirdos. Dr. Disrespect a weirdo, too. Dr. Douchebag can get it, too. He a weirdo. And we got to call out this behavior. Lashings, lashings, lashings. Shame, shame. Bell of shame. Bell of shame. ring a ding ding But I'm going to fry him up, bro. Because how you going to speak on that, man? And then your own, your own Brody, your own twin. I ain't going to speak on them in a masculine way. I'm not going to be disrespectful. But your twin who you've been through it thick and thin with, apparently had a photo designed by Shad Base of a youngin, bro. If y'all don't know who Shad Base is, it's a really ve vehemently disgusting, but amazingly talented artist that uses their skills to design a lot of things that are content classified as L-O-L-I, a very weird and disgusting area of the community of drawing of the yorn, Y-O-R-N, yorn, if you know what I'm saying, and it's a real weird way to get by on watching that, you know, that crazy stuff. So I'm gonna call it out, bro, and I'm gonna call it out so all these other content creators and all these other YouTubers can't hide behind their little wall trying to defend that weird stuff. I'm gonna call all both of these weirdos out, bro. I'm gonna call them both out right now. Doctor disrespect, you are a disgusting weirdo, bro. You nasty. You nasty, and you a freaky frog, and you need all of this stuff came at with the swiftness. But I'm gonna also call out your disgusting weird behavior too, Chris Tyson. You need to get knocked out by Mike Tyson, bro. You being weird, bro. And then people are gonna be out here defending either of these people, bro. And that's the problem, bro. That's the problem right here, bro, is that people don't understand the severity of actions, bro. They'll compare this stuff going on with sketch to either of these situations, bro. And that's the big thing is that folks don't understand that popping media does not equate to the same level of severity of issues and actions. You get what I'm saying? They'll, uh, they'll be out here trying to call out sketch for whatever Brody on, whatever Brody on with the with the BB. Uh, please don't touch my chain, you finna get... Uh. <laughs> But they don't call out, they don't call out disrespect and they ain't calling out Tyson, bro. Tyson, I don't know what you've been doing with that stick, bro, but you ain't been doing nothing regular, bro. I'm finna call you out. And we need to call out Mr. Beast too, bro. Speak on it. Speak on it, bro. You are supposed to be the head of YouTube, the king of YouTube, the, the dude who's doing YouTube at the highest level, bro. Everyone wanna speak on it. You, 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 you stood on business about a few weeks ago. When it was calling out your twin, saying that you're gonna always support them, always be there for them, always, always ride for them. And so they 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 said, Oh, you gonna do that? God said, Oh, you gonna do that, huh? Well, let me let me let me give you a little something. Let me show you what your homegirl, <laughs> your homegirl been up to. <laughs> 
Yo, this ain't funny, man. We calling it out, bro, because I'm tired of it, bro. What's funny is the hypocrisy, bro. That's what's funny. That's what's funny, bro. I don't want neither of these people on this platform, bro. But it's crazy because I can guarantee you, bro, I'm never going to forget what was going on with all this EDP stuff, bro. I'm never going to fit in that dude. He is a disgusting human being for three. Third one, a very disgusting evil human being. But the reaction to social media and YouTube and Twitch, those two multi-million dollar platforms have acted very differently compared to this EDP versus Dr. Disrespect versus Tyson situation. The first thing is that they have not openly vehemently condoned or disrespected either of those two. They still haven't spoken on them or spoken ill of them. Both of their pages are still up on Twitch and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying, bro? So so I, I on a personal, don't rock with any of this disgusting behavior. But it just seems very eye-opening when I look at the, 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 the exact reaction between EDP, Dr. Disrespect, and Tyson. And we already know what, what, what EDP's only difference is between all of them, if we keeping it a buck. And it's very clear to see that type of treatment different. But that's all I'm speaking on with that right there. What I really want to keep focused on is this disgusting behavior, bro. Because let me, let me literally break it down again for y'all weirdos if you don't know what they did. Chris Tyson spoke to a JIT. A JIT. Not no one five, a uh, one four, you know what I'm saying? And posted it on X, then removed it from all of their stuff and was later again shared by the viewers. Jake the Viking, a former member of Mr. Beast, retweeted a report hinting at their authenticity, stating there's more. One of the posts has garnered two million views, bro. It's just looking bad right now, bro. Big Joel has now deleted the thread in which he defended Chris Tyson over the recent allegations and controversy. And it's worth noting he had no idea about any of this meaningful stuff. But as you see him, bro, these dudes keep thinking that it's just being wrote off as all being edgy. Why is it always being edgy when it happens to include two things? You know, men in a certain complexion of, you know, the reflection. That's all I'm finna say on that, though. But it's disgusting how we're trying to defend this stuff as edgy humor. Bro, regardless if the youngin that was being targeted was, you know, played for either team, there's still a youngin that should not be getting targeted. And it's like, it's like the same thing whenever it's a youngin when it's a woman in that way, where they be looking at it like, well, they should be lucky. It was a woman. They're young. I would have been. I would have loved to be there. Bro, no one's your weird, your weird self, bro. You freaky frog. These are youngins that are trying to live their life. And you're literally corrupting them at a young age, not corrupting them by whatever way they want to go or whatever team they want to play for. You're corrupting them by putting them in these weird situations when they haven't even developed mentally enough to have those conversations conversations they are a jit what is wrong with y'all bro mr beast speak on it mr beast call your homie out mr beast address it but don't just stay silent bro now you looking real scary bro you looking real scary i'm not doing this no more bro chris tyson you're a certified goofy you're disgusting edp you're disgusting and a weirdo and dr disrespect you a dr douchebag bro all of y'all are weird bro and i'm calling all of them out until they weird fans start understanding all y'all are the problem stop literally making them think that this stuff is sweet bro and all y'all rich millionaire friends that are there that are that, that, that pretend that you care about the youngins and the youth when you laughing and kiki keying with your friend while they doing this weird stuff too i'm calling all y'all hypocrites out especially you mr beast i don't even want to hear none unless you condoning your homie stamped cloudy world we gone